Stephen, I asked your two teammates about that last drive where your defense is on the field. And I'm wondering, as an offensive guy on the sideline watching that, what was your, what was your confidence level in your defense at that point? And, and were you expecting Sonny to call some timeouts to give you guys time with the ball? Or what were your thoughts about that? No, I wasn't even expecting him to call timeouts. I was totally just keyed in on our defense, stopping them, uh, making plays like they did, like I knew they can. I know what our defense has, and uh, they proved it to everybody that they can make those stands that we need. And uh, I mean, my heart was, I was more nervous there than I think I've ever been before a game. <laughs> yeah, like when I was standing on the sideline, I was just like, hey, I'm nervous right now. <laughs> And what can a, a goal line stand and, and that kind of a contribution from your defense, which has gotten a lot of criticism, mm -hmm. what can that mean for the team as a whole going forward in terms of their confidence and the way you guys all feel about each other? Oh, yeah, it gives us a uh, total confidence. I mean, team meeting uh, post game, our coach said, great job to our defense and the offense that we all instantly just started to give, gave them a round of applause just because just we know those guys uh, get criticism and we know that they – they go through it, and uh, we know that they're good players, so we don't we don't like to see them go through the criticism. And for them to stand up and do what they know how to do, and it just makes me proud of them and happy for them and happy for the team. Brings us all together even closer. Have you had a chance to look at this year's Oregon State uh, defensive line and just what sort of what what are your impressions? Um. My impressions are they play base. Um, they're not active guys. They're not as active as Utah. They're not as active as uh, a couple of the other teams that we faced. But uh, they're strong. They're big. They have a couple 330 pounders in the middle. So uh, some nose guards that are going to be sitting there trying to stop the run. But I think I'm confident in what we're going to do. Yeah, I'm not going to. Davis talked about uh, the need to pair of back-to-back -back good performances because mm -hmm. uh, you guys have sort of been win-loss, win-loss, win so far, and but also going on the road and trying to get one on the road. Did, give yourself some momentum. How important is this game uh, you know, for uh, what you guys want to do long term? Oh, it's huge. It's uh, definitely huge for us because we've um, uh, yeah, we've been win-loss, win-loss, and uh, we know that when we showed up at Arizona State, we were flat. Warm-ups were flat. The, the crowd wasn't very into it, so we, we, we didn't have much energy. And uh, we went to the locker room and we tried to get energy. We talked. We had some motivation, and we don't. I don't think it worked. We didn't have as much pop as we did for the Texas or the Utah game because we weren't as in it as we should have been. And I think that we recognize that at Arizona State, and we're not going to let that happen in Oregon State, regardless as to if it's raining, cold, uh, not good fans, whatever. We're not. We're not going to let any of that affect us. We're going to be our own team and be out there with a whole bunch of energy.